Welcome to Inside the Huddle. I'm Mike Joseph for GoLeopards.com. It's been two weeks through the hurricane, and Lafayette has been through a little bit of a hurricane, two losses in a row. They got two left, and that first one starts this week with Fordham up in the Bronx. I talk each week about being on schedule, and that basically comes from play calling on defense as well as offense. If you want to start up here in the left corner, what I drew here is basically a play sheet, those big play sheets you see the coaches use on the sideline. First, I'm going to talk about personnel. When I have three wide receivers and one tight end in the game, I call that 31. If I have two tight ends and two wide receivers in the game, I call that 22. So each of my plays is going to be called basically upon the personnel I have in the game. First and 10, obviously that's the first play of the drive. I may have five or six or seven or maybe up to 10 plays that I can use on first and 10. On second down, second and seven plus, second and 10, second and 12, that gets me what I call off schedule, okay? On schedule would be second and four to six. I can really open my playbook, I can run play action, I can still run the football and create some third and shorts. Second and one to three is what I call a bonus down, a down where I could waste maybe a long throw or I can just run the football to get that first down. So on schedule, second and four to six, second and one to three. Third and seven again would be off schedule, somewhere where I have to put the football in the air unless I'm way down in my own territory I want to maybe run draw or screen. So two off schedule plays. Getting back on schedule, third and four to six is a great down. It's what I call a conversion down, something that we talk each week about how well somebody is on third down. A good four, uh, third down conversions would be somewhere around 40%. Third and one to three is my short yardage. So on my play sheet as a coach, I have certain plays for every single one of these situations. I not only have to get the play called, but I get to get the proper personnel in the game. I may have a few trick plays that I have called for the week, things we've worked on, flea flickers, reverses, things like that. Two-point plays in case I need to go for two at the end of the game or the end of the half. A fourth and short situation. I call a timeout. I want to get the proper play in. And then my last thing would be sudden change plays. Basically, we just got an interception or a fumble. We're in the opponent's territory. We want to come out first play off of that drive, what we call a sudden change play. So when you see a coach hold up that play sheet to his mouth and he's talking to it or he's talking to his quarterback like you see in the NFL, this is the type of play sheet he has. He wants to stay on schedule. I'm Mike Joseph for GoLeopards.com, up in the Bronx, Fordham.